Greetings, Star Wars Nation, and welcome to Star Wars World Reviews. And we're here today at the Corpus Christi Comic Con. We're going to look around and see what we can find. Let's sit down, buckle up, and hit that hyperdrive because Star Wars World Reviews starts now. Right at the start of the comp, we found a riding Banta. And here we have the Ultra Saver store. So if you guys ever want to get a lightsaber, Ultra Savers. Uh, this is actually the place where I got my first lightsaber. So you get all kinds of colors, all kinds of, uh, I guess, styles of lightsabers, which is pretty cool. If you guys are looking for a Kylo Ren style type of lightsaber, you have uh, Ultra Savers. So we decided to walk around and see what type of figures we can come across. And I know a lot of these figures were either McDonald's or Burger King figures. And if you know what you're looking for, some of these can be worth quite a lot of money, quite a few dollars. Uh, we also saw some vintage games and I was immediately attracted to this because I'm looking for Smash Brothers for Nintendo 64. So I love vintage gaming. But next to it, we also saw some Star Wars toys. Now, a lot of these Star Wars vintage toys can go for in really good condition, 40, 50 bucks if they have the weapons. But a lot of these on this table were already beat up. Uh, they were not in a great condition. And I was trying to see if I could find maybe a good looking vintage toy, but unfortunately none of these were up to par. But it's good to see there are a lot of people either buying or selling uh, vintage Star Wars toys and I always love looking through a lot of these to see like I said if I can find something that I can pick up and for those of you guys that are looking for original packaging toys there are a lot of toys here in this comic con that had the original packaging and other comic cons that I have seen so look out for those original packaging toys This is my favorite pop store. This is actually one of the stores that I buy my pops. The bags, so. they come in. They range oh, from good? 40 to 72. Mini okay. backpacks are mostly the 65 or 70. I really wanted to take home this purse, but this purse was $75. When it comes to this type of artwork, I know I've seen it in several Comic Cons, but if you want something retro and also something classy, you can purchase this, you can mix and match them and put them in your home. So you can bring some of the stuff that you love in your childhood into your home decor. And for those of you guys that love competitive gaming or love to do competitive gaming yourself, they had some competitive gaming here and it was also broadcast. Oh, 
Oh, look at that set. And to my surprise, they had these retro toys here for sale. And I had just done a review of retro or new versus vintage or old. And that is also on my channel. But I didn't want to ask the guy. I didn't want to seem eager to find out how much were they selling it for. So what we decided to do is look around. And we obviously found some Star Wars toys here on this booth. And it is good because I know if you have small kids, they're not like cool. vintage, vintage, but they're they're older toys. They can pick some of these toys up and you don't have to pay the, you know, six, seven dollars or probably like a buck. But they had other stuff here also star wars i do own that paul dameron uh x-wing not the other one but it was a little bit pricey for me to pay 30 40 dollars for that that's how much i paid brand new uh, but overall i did like what i saw here so i mean maybe someone could have picked up a good amount of toys here that had pops everything else but my eye caught on to these hot toy collectibles now they were overpriced probably like $20 more than what they sell them at the website so I was not gonna pick them up it was just nice to see them and obviously my husband came and asked about the retro toys I know let's go how much do you guys think $100 got this one come on and we have two sets of those. Nice. Now this is a nice painting. Look at this, guys. Nice painting of Wolverine. Is that awesome? Nice. Look at this. Batman and Catwoman. It's not a painting, but it still looks cool. Oh, it is a painting. Never mind. Take that back. That is a painting. It's a painting. That's a painting. That's cool. And before I finish, I just want to show you guys some pictures that I took at the Corpus Christi Comic Con. Unfortunately, I forgot to take footage of myself doing this, but I had so much fun meeting people that love Star Wars or maybe people that had no idea who we were. They were just excited to see that we were dressed up in costume. I know I had a great time here with the 501st, but overall, I know that I had a blast just filming and getting to know a lot of the Star Wars fans and my son for sure my family had a great time and before we close this vlog all the way from Corpus Christi Comic Con I just want to say thank you to the Texas Gulf Coast squad from the 501st and they did an amazing job in collecting funds for the Peter Mayhew Foundation but also guys thank you for making me feel welcome not only me but my family and you guys were the MVPs of that con so thank you for your love and support and just for an amazing time that we had there but also I want to say thank you to Mr. Reviews for buying me this awesome lightsaber yes mr reviews actually bought me a new lightsaber from ultra savers and as you can see i love this because you can see the light coming out of the saver and it is a long blade this i actually had to cut this blade but it's a long blade this lightsaber was about a hundred dollars it does not have a sound but it's going to replace this lightsaber this was my first there you go my first lightsaber it has sound uh initially I don't know if it's there you go. This lightsaber had a, it's called a clash. When every time you will clash it, it will have a white uh, light. But because of the many times I used the lightsaber, I actually ended up breaking it and I had a friend of mine fix this lightsaber. This saber was about $300 or so with the sound and everything, but it's already outdated because it's about six years old. But now I'll have this brand new lightsaber so I can go to practices and troop with and I don't have to put on a beating on this one. But with that guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I hope you enjoy this Comic Con and comment below. Let me know what Comic Cons have you been and what are some of the amazing things you have seen in those Comic Cons. And like always, can't wait to get to back here at Star Wars World Reviews.